Now I'm going to show you how to use WordPress FileMaker Sync to upload files and or images to your WordPress website. For my product catalog, I have a maximum of four images per FileMaker record. You can see these at the bottom of the screen. So first things first, I'm going to do some more copy pasting from the code repository. You need these three fields for every container field that you want to upload from FileMaker to WordPress. So I have one set here, and here's two sets. I'll go ahead and copy both of those. Head back over to the Manage Database dialog. Go ahead and paste those. And since we have four images that we want to attach to a WordPress post, we're going to need two more sets of these. Now we just want to modify the script. Same script, new or edit post with upload file. If you scroll down, you'll see the single upload file section right here. It's entirely disabled, which is why it's grayed out, and it has those two dashes to the left. So just select that whole section and then enable the script steps. You're going to need one of these sections for every file you want to upload. So for me, I'm going to need four because I have up to four container fields. The only script step you're actually going to modify is this one right here. And it's the script parameter that you're going to modify. So first things first, get rid of these bracketed comments right here. Okay. And then there's a lot of notes in here, but basically you're just going to read through this and then follow the instructions. And for this one, we're going to replace this with our container field, our first one. So there's that. And then for these, because we changed the table name in code repository before we copied and pasted them over here, and we didn't change the field names, we can actually leave these alone. So you can see here these three fields that we just created are used in here. So there's attachment ID, there's attachment link, and there's attachment error. The next thing that we need to change is this substitution tag. We're just going to leave it as it is. So you can read the description of it here, but basically it's a little marker that it should be text that's unlikely to show up in your body text organically. And you can see what mine is there. So it's just photo one with asterisks and underscores around it. And so that text right there, we need to put that in the body. And what that'll do is it'll cause this right here, the substitution HTML only evaluated, to show up wherever we put this in the body text without quotes around it. So I'll show you how that works. I'm just going to copy that to make sure I get it the same. Okay, and now we just want to modify the post content set variable script step. So we can put it right here. I'll put in a little line break and then our substitution tag. So right here, you're going to see that HTML that we just described as substitution HTML. All right, let's go ahead and post this and see what it looks like. We're just going to run the script from here. Let's go look at it. Okay, so here's my post. You can see my image, and then the same description is below it. Okay, now we're just going to add these three other containers to the script. It's pretty straightforward. So we're just going to grab this single upload file section and we're going to copy it and then we're just going to paste it. Okay, and the only thing you modify with this is the script parameter on the perform script upload file script step. And because we've kept things pretty standard with numbering, we're just going to change this to two and we're basically going to just change all the ones to twos. Okay, so those are the only lines we need to change. I'm just going to fast forward through doing this for three and four and repeat those steps and then I'll get back with you in a second. So I went through this script and I created two more upload file blocks, one for three and one for four, and just changed the numbers on those. Pretty straightforward. And now I'm here and I'm going to modify this post content set variable script step. And I'm just going to copy this and add two, three, four. Okay, so there we go. Just save this script and run it. 
And if I come down here and click on view, and here's my website with all four images and my description text. So you're probably going to want to get a little bit more complicated with the way that you format your WordPress website. I'm just showing you basically how it works. You can also, instead of substituting the website URL, you can use the attachment ID and you don't have to put it in the body. You can put it in a custom field. You can do a lot of different things with it depending on how your WordPress theme works and what you're after.